السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد We continue our discussion relating to the imagery that we are discussing of Laylatul Qadr and we had come to the point where the angels had descended on the earth and the night after Laylatul Qadr after the sun rises and they ascend back into the heavens the angels in the sky witness the army of Malaika al muqarribin the closest angels to Allah, led and guided by Jibreel, coming up. When the angels of the sky see the army of Malaika al muqarribun they ask them, how was the night of power? Jibreel and his army of angels reply, Masha Allah, it went very well. Alhamdulillah, it was excellent. The angels of the sky ask, who was worshipping? Who was praying? Jibreel and his army of angels mention every single person who was worshipping on the night of power. They mention all the names of the individuals who worshipped that night. And they are proud and they brag about these individuals. So and so the son of so-and-so and and the son of such and such woman the daughter of so-and-so these people were worshipping on this night Jibreel and his army brag about these worshippers and praise them to the angels of the sky after this conversation takes place Jibreel and the rest of the Malaika al muqarribin the closest angels of Allah ascend up to the first heaven Again, the angels of the first heaven asked Jibreel and his army, who are coming from the night of power? Tell us how it went. Subhanallah, Jibreel and the rest of army mentioned the names of every single person who worshipped on Laylatul Qadr and brag about them. This conversation takes place at every level of the sky as Jibreel and his army continues their ascension into the heavens. They keep, they keep bragging about the worshippers and mentioning these worshippers by name who were worshipping on the night of power. And this continues until Jibreel and his army finally reach the point of Sidratul Muntaha, where they started from. The place that is the nearest to the Arsh and the throne of Allah. The angels stand before Allah and deliver their report. Allah knows. Allah sees and hears everything, He is fully aware. But the angels deliver the report to Allah. In delivering the report, the angels say, Oh Allah, our Rabb, we are coming back from Laylatul Qadr and we found many of your slaves in your worship. We found Muhammad, we found Ahmad, we found Fatima, we found Zainab, so and so, the son of so and so. We found such woman, the daughter of so and so. The angels mention each and every single person by name in front of Allah. Subhanallah. Would we not want to be part of those people? Would we not want to be part of those people on that night? That would be among those that engage themselves in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this great night of Laylatul Qadr and been given a report by them personally to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying Ameen to our du'as on that night and even subhanallah greeting us with salam shaking our hands on that night how unfortunate would that person be who missed this great opportunity of standing in prayer on Laylatul Qadr and therefore Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith and he said Ameen to the dua of the angel Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam and when asked what was the Ameen about Rasulullah said I said Ameen 
to the dua that Jibreel made that how unfortunate is that person who finds the month of Ramadan and has not been given forgiveness for his sins because this month of Ramadan is a month of dua it's a month of the blessings of Allah the first 10 nights where the blessings of Allah descend then the second 10 nights where Allah grants forgiveness to many of his servants and the final 10 nights where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees millions of people from the fire of Jahannam and Laylatul Qadr comes on the odd nights of the last 10 nights and these are the last 10 nights if we find ourselves finding an opportunity of being blessed and fortunate from the blessings of this night subhanallah as we go along we will understand how powerful this night is we will understand how powerful is this night laylatul qadr the night of power the night when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the quran kareem the night where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran is a night better than a thousand nights of ibadah subhanallah Subhanallah, may Allah give us the opportunity of benefiting from this great blessing and mercy and kindness and compassion of Allah that when we find this night of Laylatul Qadr this year and every other year inshallah our names will be presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the angels that I found Muhammad, I found Fatima Ya Allah, engage in your worship and we, the angels, said salam to them. And we said ameen to the du'as. May Allah give us the opportunity of benefiting from this great night, Laylatul Qadr. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh,